Okay, so um, I've been invited by uh, Andrea Rossi to come to visit one of his labs and do some testing on the ECAT sclep. And I asked him if I could bring my own power supply to do some testing, and he said that was no problem. So I have bought this power supply. I'll include the details in the uh, description. And um, it's a variable power supply, which means I can adjust the voltage. So I gonna turn it on and you'll see here, then I set it to 10 volts. Uh, the second line shows the amps and the third line shows the watts. Now for the testing that we're going to be doing, it, it's gonna be very important that the power supply reads correct measurements because this will be, um, the ECAT will be attached to this. So um, what I've decided to do is a little test here. Um, I've got this, uh, I've got some resistors here, 220 ohm resistors. And I am going to uh, attach one to the power supply and then we can see what the reading is. Excuse the shaky hand here. Okay. So the resistor is now in the circuit. And you'll see that there are some values showing now for amps and watts. So what I'm going to do now is just go to my laptop and I'm at this uh, Ohm's Law calculator. So we have two known values here, 10 volts and 220 ohms. Let's calculate that. So according to Ohm's Law, if you have 10 volts and 220 ohms, your current should be 0 0.04545 amps, and your watts should be 0 0.45455 watts. And so let's go back to the power supply here. And you'll see that the values are not exactly according to the calculator, but I think they're in the ballpark pretty well. Uh, it's just those <clears throat> last decimal places that are not quite there on the amps. So I would say that for what we will be doing, this power supply should read accurately enough.